Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Balancing Act. We're having a good time this morning. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Viverdi. All right, do you have a passport? I've got one. Are you ready to have I'm, a good time? I'm ready. Where are we going? We are heading south of the border. Oh, my gosh. Touring some of the most beautiful resorts Mexico has to offer. I am ready. It's still summer, and the water in Cancun is spectacular. No husbands. <laughs> oh, I got it. All right, and then we're going to turn our focus to money matters. We've got great ideas on how you can develop a financial protection plan for your entire family. The Balancing Act starts right now. The romantic Spanish names alone are enough to ignite the imagination. All right, here we go. Cancun, Consumel, Los Cabos, Puerto Vallarta. Arrive at a world-class resort in any of these luxury locations and Hola Paraiso. Yes, hello paradise. I love these places. We're talking, of course, about gorgeous Mexico, featuring the country's most desirable all-inclusive vacation packages. With us for a little south of the border excursion this morning is John Kerwin, managing director for Gran Fiesta Americana Los Cabos. Good morning. Good morning Marcia, to you. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Great I, to be here. I'm so glad you're here because I'm in need of a vacation. I was wow. telling my husband we got to leave with the girls somewhere, so I think I'm finding a great place to go to. But I'd love to tell my viewers something that you take pride in and your resorts, you guys create memories that last a lifetime with Mexico's most desirable vacation destinations. That kind of says it all. Well, our resorts in particular are special. Special because we have ama. You know what ama is? You ever hear of this before? Ama is you know amor in Spanish. That's true. Okay. Amor is love. But ama for us is attitude, magic, and action. And with those three things, we make memorable experiences for our guests. And that you do it's obviously all with about. the people there. That's right, we do, we do with them there. Now this is all about reading off little things our guests like, need, want, and then creating these memorable experiences through these particular likes. So this is very important for us because we're not just selling rooms. All the hotels in Cancun have a nice beach. But what makes this one different? Our staff, they're warm, friendly people. You know how Mexicans are. They're I know. hospitable. They they're, are. Right? But these guys are constantly looking out for what you like, what you need, what you want, and they just bring it, they just bring it to you. They just make it appear. So all right, that's, so that's let's what go to Cancun. About. Let's take our viewers to Cancun and show them this beautiful resort and tell me about it. Well, Cancun, as you know, is the, the most popular resort destination. Been there many times. In Mexico, not alone Mexico, Latin America, and as well, well known all over the world. Basically, the great thing about our resorts in Cancun is they're very close to the airport. So you get off this plane and you're just 15, 20 minutes, you're literally there. So there's not this long, awesome. long bus journey and everything. Now, what's made this uh, a very successful resort, apart from its people, is the great dining experience. We added on uh, an additional four or five restaurants to this resort. Oh, so, wow. so it's not only Mexican cuisine. We also offer right on site, right on property. We have the Italian. Uh, restaurant. We have an Asian. Right now, we opened up a new Argentinian restaurant Ay, with, with, with steaks, with mm. everything. So, so you have everything, everything right there. And the beaches are gorgeous there, I have to say. And the water and the sand and oh my gosh! Well, heaven. you know, the beach in Cancun is <laughs> spectacular. This fine sand that doesn't even get hot. I know. So you can go barefoot, doesn't get hot. The water is crystal clear. All right, let's go to Cozumel now, shall we? Cozumel. Cozumel is great. Cozumel is is. is easily accessible from most major U.S. cities, which is perfect, so you can get there really easily. The great thing we have to talk about this uh, resort in Cozumel, the Fiesta Americana uh, Cozumel, and as well the Explorian, which is also a, a sister resort which is right next door, recently renovated, so it's brand new, pristine, new furniture, new everything, so it's set into the jungle and also has this great activities program. Oh, how fun! Yeah, this is, this is great for families. This is, this is like... Uh, Let's all go on a bike ride through the jungle and let's uh, go down to see the cenotes. You know the cenotes, the big sinkholes where yes. they, all this wildlife and everything. It's just like getting away, especially those who are in cities and caught in the traffic all day. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect getaway. Now, this is one place I think I need to go, Mexico's west coast. I think we're going to Puerto Vallarta now. We can go to Puerto Vallarta. Oh my gosh, I have to go there. You, I've never you been said there. You, you said you wanted to go, so we can go there. Take right? me to Puerto Vallarta. This right is, now. Uh... I'm closing my eyes. Go. <laughs> <laughs> well, Puerto Vallarta, right, is this resort there, the Fiesta Americana, is self contained. It's only about 290 rooms. 
Now, the great thing about it being a, a smallish resort mm -hmm. is that you get this personalized service. You get all this attention, all these little details. I like so, attention. Perfect. <laughs> Who doesn't? Who doesn't like attention? Right? So it's just beautiful. And let's talk about this one now. This is the Grand Fiesta Americana Los Cabos all-inclusive golf and spa. Now this is a beautiful resort. It's set between the desert and the ocean, which is a spectacular setting. Just spectacular. A beautiful resort full of little bougainvillea flowers. Um, there's great snorkeling right in front of the property. But as well, the big advantage is we have this beautiful spa and we have two golf courses right next door. Oh. There's the ocean course and the desert course. Now, John, my plan is to go with my girls, but I know you have a resort that's for adults only, right? Oh, we have, we have just the resort for you. The Live Aqua All Inclusive in Cancun is a spectacular resort. Now, we know this because that's the way it's rated. It's rated as number two on TripAdvisor consistently wow. for the last year. And I'm talking out of about 180 hotels in Cancun. So it's doing a great job. The staff there are doing a super job. Now, this, uh, this resort was also voted in 2012 best resort in Mexico. So you can imagine where you're going to, right? This is, this is quality, this is getaway time, this is be yourself. This resort focuses on your five senses. These, these just want you to relax, get away from it all. It has a superb spa and uh, the cuisine is exceptional. You know, what I'm hearing, John, and what I love is, number one, you know, it's really easy to get to, wherever you are in this country, oh, yeah. to get to Mexico. Uh, the hospitality is off the charts. I mean, That's the people right. there are so warm. The food, mm, spectacular. Yeah. Spectacular. And really something to note, something for everyone. You can go with your That's spouse, right. your loved one, and the children too. Yeah. Well, there's something for everybody. You know, we cater for our families and all the Fiesta Mexicana resorts. You know, and we look, food, out, we look after it all. And the food, so important to me, That's on right. a scale of one to 10, a 10. I'd give it a 10 easy. Now I'm a chef. Oh. I'm a chef by profession, so I know all about food. And our chefs, I think, they're the best. Okay, They're so if really I go good. to this resort, not only is he going to be there, he's going to cook for <laughs> we me. We can cook. I can cook. We can, we can organize that. All right. For our viewers who'd like more information on all the resorts in Mexico that you have to offer, where do they go? You can go to fiestamericana.com. Uh, you can also uh, go to your local travel agency, your travel consultants. And you can also go online to any of the online travel agents. Thank you so much, John. We're, wait we're waiting for you. Puerto Vallarta, here I come. And if you decided to head south to Mexico's all-inclusive resorts, you can also visit here at thebalancingact.com or get a little bit social with us. Dive in by logging in at Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans. I have got to go to Puerto Vallarta. Financial security ranks high, if not the highest, on everyone's list of priorities, especially for us women. And today we begin a three-part Money Matters series that aims to empower and enlighten us on how to build a stronger financial future. And joining me is Tricia Brown from Bright Peak Financial as we look at ways to create a financial safety net for life's what-ifs and unexpected events. It's so great to have you in the studio. Thank you. I'm really excited this to be here. This is really important information. So I want to start right off the bat. It seems like money, saving money, is such a challenge for people. Why do you think that is? You know, you're right. It, you know, almost one in four American families don't have emergency savings at all. And it's even harder for families with children. They're being squeezed from all directions. High uh, child care costs, high housing costs, um, student loan debt. Sure. The challenge of that, beyond just impacting their wallet, is it impacts other parts of their lives. That sense of financial insecurity, people carry around with them everywhere. Sure they do. And what are some of the safeguards that people need to take? There are really two kinds of safeguards that families think about and, and feel like they want. The first is the things that they want in place to really care for the people they love. And those are things like a will and a guardianship to make sure your kids are taken care of, right. as well as life insurance to make sure that no matter what, their financial needs are cared for. The second kind of thing are things that you kind of do for yourself to make sure you have the freedom to make the choices that you want and the freedom to get your plans and goals met. Um, so those are things like emergency savings, sure. health insurance, disability insurance, and having a good su support network you can turn to to you know, pitch in with childcare or a meal when things are tough. You know, that is so important and sometimes we put off you know, doing that, but we can't. And what's the potential impact of like that unexpected event that just happens? 
huge if you're not prepared. Right. So take something as simple as a car repair. $1,000 if uh, you have cash. If you don't and you haven't saved for that, it can be well over $2,000 if you're paying with a credit card and then making minimum payments. Yeah. And that's something as simple as a car repair. Something bigger, right. like getting sick or ill and being out of work for six months to wow. a year. Wow, big time. That's when people start to lose their homes. In fact, um, the foreclosures in, in the United States, many are caused by things like this. Wow, so share some ideas about developing a financial protection plan for your family. The most important thing is to get started. And a really easy way to do that is with emergency savings. No matter the family situation, you can get started with a little bit of emergency savings. And the first thing you do is just pay yourself first. Yay, pay yourself first. <laughs> yeah. Before you pay anybody else, pay yourself. Right. Another important thing to do is to protect yourself from yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So having a different institution that you put, put your money in that makes it harder to get so that you have to think twice before you spend it is a right. really good idea. Yeah. That online shopping can just get me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So having a financial safety net is really empowering though, isn't it? It is. It's great. It's amazing how good people feel when they have the right things in place and they know their kids are covered and when they know that no matter what, they're going to have some choices available to them and freedom to make those choices. Now, where can our viewers learn more about Bright Peak? Well, they could go to our website. Right. We have a lot of great resources at brightpeakfinancial.com. We have some ebooks on how to build a financial safety net and really evaluate your own situation. Right. And, and you have a lot of free things on the website, right? I was yeah. taking a look. Yeah, yeah, blogs and videos. It's really easy to learn, and it's, it's a lot it doesn't have to be as hard as people think. Yeah. It can be a lot more simple and affordable. We overthink it, and you help us simplify it. Thanks so much for joining us. Really important information and discussion to have, especially for women. we got to grab hold of this and, and, and plan. I agree. Thanks, Trisha. Thank you. And, of course, you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Lots more there for you. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Joining the discussion to help kids and parents lessen allergies is Cassandra Shippen, General Manager for Flax for Life, a company dedicated to gluten-free products. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Nice to be here. Thank you. Know, you know, it's amazing how many kids today have allergies, and I'll, I'll have children come over for play dates, and point blank, I start asking anybody, do you have an allergy? Do you have it? And, you know, sometimes half of them raise their hands. I mean, it's really serious, isn't it? It really is incredible, the amount of allergies and things that are around nowadays. Top for children's peanut peanut gluten you soy dairy nuts there are lots of different allergies that are out there what is flax for life doing to help that we are helping design products that are easy and manageable for parents, that are good for kids, but most of all, that they taste great. Uh, taste is the most important thing. You can't feed gluten-free cardboard <laughs> to anybody. So we have a, we've designed products that, number one, taste good, but number two, they're filled with flax. So you're not just getting empty calories. You're getting omega-3s. You're getting fibers. You're getting proteins. We have a great display. Where, where do you want to go first? Well, let's start with the birthday cakes. The birthday cakes are... I just celebrated the birthday, so there you go. <laughs> are, are designed all natural. It's great because in many situations, you know, kids will have birthdays at school. You know, your daughter wants to go and have and join in. You can't, but this is a nice option. We don't all have time to bake a cake every night, so it's a great, you know, you go to the store, you pick it up. All natural, all natural sprinkles. Now, you're, now your child has an option to bring something to school. Excellent. Our, our brownies are great. They're bite-sized, loaded with flax, loaded with fiber, loaded with protein. You can feel good about putting in a little treat for, for your kids for a snack, and they're still going to they're gonna like it. <laughs> it's going to get eaten, and mm -hmm. it tastes good. Uh, we have muffins, 10 grams of fiber, 10 grams of protein, 5,000 milligrams of omega-3s per muffin. And let's talk about the omega-3s. Really important for the body, and you can get them right here with Flax for Life. Yeah, Flax is a great source of omega-3s. Great for your cardio health, great for your heart. Uh, lots of lots of benefits for Flax. Um, there's cancer-fighting attributes. There's Excellent. all kinds of different ways that you can go with the, the benefits for it. So really a lot of great options for parents who are struggling to figure out, okay, what am I going to give my daughter or my son who's suffering from, you know, let's say a, a gluten allergy right. or something like that. They have it right here, easy to go. Easy to go. You got breakfast, you got snacks, we have buns for hamburgers and, and sandwiches, granolas that are great with, you know, yogurt and stuff. So you're, you're easy, it's healthy, and it's, and it's quick, and it tastes good. And it importantly. tastes good. And since I love to eat and everybody knows that, I want to try, what is this one again? This is the carrot raisin muffin. I'm going to try to be proper because considering, you know, it is the morning. <laughs> 
It's great with a cup of coffee. Mm. Um, the new brownies are, are fabulous. This is one, this does not taste like cardboard. <laughs> no, it doesn't. This is great. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate what you're doing because parents really do struggle for a good, wholesome snack or meal. And this is really giving them a good option. Thank, Thank you. you. And if you or your kids are dealing with food allergies and gluten-free is what you need, visit us for the latest in healthy, allergy-free food choices at thebalancingact.com or share a bit about your favorite gluten-free bites. Log on to Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans and I'm going to do the bite. They're referred to as GMOs or genetically modified organisms. And with so much public discussion of GMOs and GMO labeling, we started wondering what really are GMOs and what do they mean for American women? To find out, we turned to our friends at Common Ground, an organization bringing together the women who grow food with those who buy it. And bringing that conversation right to the breakfast table and beyond this morning is Julie Kenny, an Iowa farmer as well as a volunteer for Common Ground. So great to have you in the studio. Thanks for having me. All right, before we start, uh, tell me a little bit more about yourself and Common Ground. Uh, I'm a fifth generation farmer along with my husband. Uh, we farm in Iowa and we have um, primarily corn and soybeans um, and also we're raising two little kids. So <laughs> at any time on the farm you might find them helping us plant corn and soybeans or nurturing those crops throughout the growing season or riding in the combine at the end of the year. So it's a, it's a very fun family farm. And Common Ground, you volunteer for them. I do, yeah. It's a great opportunity. You know, I recognize as a mom that um, I'm fortunate to have access to a farm and see how food is grown today, but not everybody has that access. So I think it's important to um, help describe what's going on and answer questions that consumers might have. So that's really the goal and the mission of that organization. Julie, we hear so much about GMOs and, and a lot of people really don't know what they are. Could you just explain it in kind of layman's term for me and our viewers? Sure, sure. So. Farmers and gardeners have been improving seeds and plants for centuries, and genetic modification or, or GMOs is really kind of the modern version of that, where um, we take that process of improving the seeds into the lab, and what it results in is, is really a more accurate and precise way of improving those plants. So some of the benefits that we've seen today is you know, protection against insects or diseases or some of the common challenges that we might have right. on our farm. But I'm really excited about some of the benefits to come, like improved nutrition of the food that we produce, those kind of things, really exciting times. Let's examine in greater detail some of the myths surrounding GMOs, the short list, food allergies, ADD, cancer. What is the research showing? You know, most people don't realize that these products have been on the market for about two decades. Really? And before they even come to the market, they're really, really thoroughly tested and, and researched. And, you know, as a mom who's not only growing these products, but also feeding them to my children, it's really important to me to know that they are the most thoroughly researched foods on, on the market today and have proven to be just as safe as, as all the other products available to us. Now, both organic foods and GMO uh, foods use pesticides and, and insecticides. And what's most important when it comes to safety? And, and also, I think some people sometimes think organic doesn't use any pesticides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also a common misconception. So both organic farmers and conventional farmers like ourselves have access to insecticides and pesticides. And it's just one of the tools that we use to help protect those plants. Um, but as farmers, you know, we're always looking to continuous improvement. So how can we grow as much as possible, be as productive as possible, but also use those resources in a really responsible manner? I think there are a ton of questions about food and farming. And as a farmer, I think that's really exciting. Um, I invite those questions. And that's really the main reason that I volunteer my time with Common Ground. I think it's a great opportunity for not just myself, but other farm women from across the country to share what's going on on farms today and help answer some of those burning questions. And we've got a great website. Okay, that's the viewers I want to know. Yep, Where can they yep. find you? Find our commonground.com. And it's a great opportunity to connect with farmers like myself and maybe ask some of those burning questions we haven't talked about today. Well, I just want to thank you and all the farmers and ranchers out there that just provide us with, and America has the safest, tastiest, healthiest food in the world. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and if you'd like additional information on GMOs, you're invited for some nutritious nuggets at thebalancingact.com or send us your fresh food ideas, share your thoughts or questions on Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans. Such great information on today's show from destinations and paradise to helping build a financial future for your entire family. Remember, we have lots more on our website, thebalancingact.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. Until next time. Remember, find your balance. So long, everybody.